Hey everyone, it's Sean here and today I'm back with another Nike Flyknit Racer review. So today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the No Parking colorway. These shoes released on Friday, February 24th and they were available on Nike.com as well as Nike.ca here in Canada as well as in our actual Nike running stores. So these were not available at Foot Locker or Champs as well as any of the other boutique stores located in the country. They retailed for a price of 150 US or 200 Canadian dollars. The official colorway for this shoe is Wolf Grey, White, Pure Platinum, and Cool Grey. The nickname of the shoe is No Parking, and according to Nike's website, in their blurb about this shoe, they state that this No Parking uh, reference is really a nod to joggers and runners who never stop and never give up. As well, the color palette of this shoe is inspired by those No Parking signs as well. So let's take a closer look at this shoe. So this entire upper is made up of Flyknit and whether you're looking at it from the lateral side or the medial side, there's two different shades of gray that this flyknit weave consists of. So first off, on the lateral side. So this flyknit weave on this side is a mixture of wolf gray, pure platinum, and black. So this gives it a bit of a darker appearance when you contrast it to the other side. So on this side, we have this darker gray weave, and then it's finished off with this white colored Nike swoosh. Transitioning to the toe box as well as the medial side, the flyknit on these sides are made up of wolf grey and pure platinum. So without the black that exists on the lateral side, that gives it a much more lighter grey appearance. This side is also finished off with another Nike swoosh, also done in white. Moving on to the tongue, we have this grey tongue with this Nike flyknit racer label that's fused onto the top. And this is done in a combination of black and red. On both sides of the sneaker, we have these black flywire cables that start from the bottom and make its way up towards where the laces are. And speaking of laces, we have your standard Flyknit Racer rope laces, also done in grey. As well, we have this grey collar at the top where your ankles are, and this adds some additional flexibility. Taking a look at the back heel, we have the standard Flyknit Racer pull tab in this nylon material that's finished off with these accents of 3M at the top. The insoles of these shoes are grey, and they feature this Nike branding text done in black. This flyknit upper sits atop this phylon foam midsole that is done in white and it's accented with this very bold university red stripe that makes its way around both sides of the midsole. From a cushioning standpoint, we have this phylon foam midsole supplemented by a 4 foot zoom air unit. Finally, moving on to the outsole, we have this standard flyknit racer rubber outsole that's done in this black color. So with that said, there's not too much more that needs to be said. If you've seen any of my other flyknit racer reviews, these fit and feel the same as all the other colorways. So for those of you who haven't seen my other reviews, here's a quick refresher. So sizing standpoint, I went with my true size, which is a 10 and a half. If you do have wider feet, these shoes do run a little bit narrow. So some people with wider feet just can't pull off the Flyknit Racers. From a cushioning standpoint, you do feel that cushioning with the Zoom Air unit in the forefoot. And overall, I find this to be a very well supported, well cushioned shoe. It's gonna feel different than the Ultra Boost cushioning, which is a much softer cushioning setup. Whereas this one in comparison is gonna feel a lot more firm on your feet. So at the end of the day, it's really up to your personal preference. I personally like wearing these when I know I'm gonna be on my feet, standing or walking around for a long duration of the day. Whereas for an Ultra Boost, I find that those are good for shorter spurts. My feet and especially the arches of my feet will feel that fatigue if I'm standing or walking around for say seven, eight or nine hours of a day. So now let me show you guys how these no parking flying erasers are laced up and on feet. So this wraps up my quick review of the Nike Flyknit Racer in the No Parking colorway. 
As always, be sure to leave a comment below to let me know how you guys rank this colorway among the other Flyknit Racer colors that have released in the past. And also give me a follow on Instagram at SGO8. Until next time, thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support, and I'll see you guys in my next video.